Hello, can you hear me? Good evening. Oh, hi. Hold on, let me see if my microphone works. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Ricardo. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay, good. I don't know what's wrong with this. How are you? Fine. Fine thing. It's hot today. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot today. Mm. How was your day? For me, it was a stressful day. It was a stressful day. Why? <laughs> because we had to resolve many problems in my, in my job. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I see. I, I, I am charged in a quality control. So uh, when there are uh, many claims, I, I have to resolve Im immediately. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine. I mean, quality control is a very difficult. Yes. It's a big responsibility, actually. Yes, it was stress, stressful. It's a, mm -hmm. It is a stressful. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Where, where, I forgot. Where do you? Where did you tell me you work? In you. I. Oh yes, yeah, in Ilopango, right? Ilopango, yes. It's a company from China, correct? No, it's a Japanese. Oh, company. Japanese. And yeah. what do you do there? Yes, uh, we, we we make a, a, a yarn um, fabric, yarn for the yarn, yarn oh, for, okay. for yes, um, and fabric. Nice, nice, interesting. All right, cool. And what about you, the rest of the class? How are you? To me, a long day long day of work Why, but um, because uh, I usually work uh, until 9, 10 uh, but this day I I go out uh, early okay. at 7 at 7 wow uh, that's early yes <laughs> too early what time do you go in? Uh, I work in risk and control. Oh, what time do you go uh, in? Hmm? What, what, time do you, what time do you go in? What so time do you go like in? you go out at eight. Mm -hmm. And what time do you go in? Uh, uh, at nine. Nine in the morning. Oh, okay. Or okay. a thirty-nine, nine, usually nine. Oh, but okay. It's a, a lot of work to do. Yeah, I could imagine. And I have to. All right. Mm -hmm. And there's Geo. Good evening. Good evening, Geo. What shirt is that? Um, the Mavorgi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you go yeah. to the concerts when they come? Yeah. Yeah. I was the first in the line. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. You know, I, I have some very, very good friends that <clears throat> they have a pupuseria. It's called the bungalows. Uh -huh. And I remember one time I was eating in, in the bungalows, right? And um, it was like Saturday or Sunday. And I had a U2 shirt. Mm -hmm. And then when I was eating, and then I see this really scary looking people <laughs> come in because they were, they look like Edward Scissorhand. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't know, it was Luz Bell. Mm. Yeah. It was, it was a Mexican group. Yeah, Mexican. But, but they were so drunk <laughs> that... <laughs> 
when they saw my shirt of U2, they were like, oh, yeah, U2. Like, oh, really, <laughs> man? U2? U2 you, <laughs> is pop music compared to your music. U2 is the best. But but they were drunk. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they, they don't even... Have. No, they they did know who they were because they started singing songs. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> but, but they were cool though. They were not. Uh, what happened was that the concert had just finished. So then they went to the restaurant. Yeah. Okay, class. So listen, today we're going to uh, the class. The actually the lesson today is going to be about. Describe what problems are with the past participle and adjectives. Okay, um, I'm going to share with you. We're going to watch a video. Mm -hmm. Tell me if you see the screen, okay? That's great. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, do you see my screen in this moment? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes sir. Okay, so listen, the lesson objective in this class, what we're going to do is, um, it says by the end of this lecture, the participants will be able to describe problems with past participle as adjectives and nouns. First of all, do you know what a past participle is? What is the past participle of eat? Eight. 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 Eating. 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 Or eaten. Eating. 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 Yes, it, yes, it's eaten. What is the past participle of, um, let me see, what is the past participle of dance? Dance. <laughs> dance. 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 Drink. Dance. Drunk. 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 Okay, good. Yeah, so today we're going to learn how to use the um, past participle, but as subjects. I'm sorry, as adjectives. As okay. subjects. Yes, uh, this, is, this is the plan today. So, um, but before we do that, we're going to watch a video, okay? So uh, tell me if you hear the video, if, if, you hear, if the audio is good. Is the audio good? Yes. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yes, it's not even playing. <laughs> okay. I can hear the audio. Can you hear? No, I cannot. No, teacher. Okay. Okay. Not really, teacher. I don't hear. Okay, thank you. Hold on, hold on. Don't worry. We'll do it. We'll do it. Do, 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 do. Okay, now you should hear it with no problem. This is what we will do. We want you to watch a what video. About now? We'll call it a new We are good. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, so uh, let's watch the video. Pay, pay special attention to all the details, the people, the names, the problem. Everything to be learned in this section is practiced in it. We want you to watch it now and watch it at the end of the section and you will see you will understand it better. Enjoy. Norman, I've got to go to the hardware store. Room 12 really needs work. Room 12, yeah. We're expecting guests soon, so take care of them, okay? Yes, room 12. Thanks. Okay, I'm just, just real quick, pause. Um, what is that place? Uh, hostel. A hostel. A hotel, yeah. maybe? Maybe it's a hostel, okay. Who's okay. Norman? The receptionist, maybe. A hostel? 
Okay, yes. yeah, maybe he's a receptionist. Who's the other man? The manager. The manager. Maybe he's the manager, the owner. Yeah, okay. Where is he? Where is he going? <laughs> to the hardware store to buy something, I think. Yeah, very good. Do you know what a hardware store is? No, no, listen. Like frown or B3? Yeah, frown, B3, those are called mm. hardware stores. Those are my favorite stores. Which one? B3? No, <laughs> any hardware store because <laughs> I always go in and I always buy things I don't need. <laughs> I just say what? Like dollar, dollar, like city. dollar, like dollar city. city. Yes, like dollar city. It's like you just say no. I I only want marshmallows, and then you buy everything. <laughs> okay, uh, Norman, what is he doing? Gio? He's looking wow. at his cell phone. Yeah, he's not paying attention, right? He's yeah, keeping in touch with his friends. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> He All right, cool. Listen the instructions. It's chatting. Yeah, maybe he's listening, but he just doesn't care. Uh, mm -hmm. If 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 the if if the boss were Salvadorian, come on, hey hey hey, I'm talking to you. Hello. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I imagine. Okay, so let's continue. Hi. 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 It was room 12, correct? Yes. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Sorry, hi. May I help you? Yes, we have reservations, Quincy, Ed and Michelle, for two nights. Yes, Mr. Quincy, uh, you're in room 12. May I help you with your luggage? Oh, no, we're okay. We, we're just staying two nights. We don't have a lot of luggage. All right, well, I'll show you the way to your room. Follow me. Oh, watch that floorboard. It's loose. Be careful. Here's the temperature control. Press this button for air conditioning. This button to turn on the heat. Just the temperature with this dial. Bathroom's right in there. My name is Norman. Give me a call if you need anything. He was strange. He just got here and I'm already feeling stressed out. Hey, does it feel cold in here to you? Yeah. Hey, look. It's stuck. I'm gonna turn on the heat. This thing's broken. I'll call the front desk. Norman, we have a window that needs to be fixed and the heat needs to be checked too. Okay, thanks. He's on his way. That was nice of him. I still think he's strange. That was quick. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's the problem? Oh, it's it's cold. Turn up the heat. The heat doesn't work. Well, what's wrong with it? The dial's broken. It came off in my hand. Well, that should do it. We'll see. That window needs fixing, too. It's stuck, and it's letting the cold air in. Style. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> A 
At least it's warming up. Yeah, but look around. The paint is cracked and peeling. The nightstand is scratched. The curtains are torn. And the rug is worn and dirty. Actually, this place is a dump. You know what? It's getting really warm in here. Norman didn't fix anything. He just turned the temperature way up. And now it's stuck on high. I can't turn the heat off. Well, open the window. I'm on it. Ed? There's no water in here. <sighs> And I can't open this window. That does it. We're leaving. Something the matter? Everything's the matter. First of all, the thermostat is broken. It's too hot now. And the window is stuck, and there's no water. Everything needs to be fixed. Tell me he's not strange. Strange? He's out of his mind. Welcome. New call. All right. Very, um, very interesting scenario. Um, did you understand everything or maybe 80, 90% of everything? 80%. Okay. Okay. Um, so obviously, okay, so we have Norman. He's not a very good employee. <laughs> what would you do in a situation like that, Sonia? Okay, uh, what would you do in a situation like that, Ronnie? The situation that normal. Yes. And um, well, I see that no. Norman is in, well, he, with his phone and don't pay attention and he's a, a bad employer because don't fix any problem in the, the room. Yeah, and have you noticed that Norman, he does not have people skills? Do you know that expression, people skills? Maybe he needs to improve her opportunities. Okay, his opportunities. And what are his, his opportunities? opportunities. Uh, better attitude, personal attitude. Okay, good. So that would be people skills. Maybe customer service. Uh, Norman, it doesn't. He doesn't have it. Yeah, of course. Okay. Good. I want I want you to learn that word or, or that saying, people skills. Because um, you know what skill is, right? Like ability. It's ability. So people say, oh, I have good dance skills. I have good cooking skills. I have good writing skills. Okay. And 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 what's the difference? Uh, with, with ability, skills and ability. What's the what's the difference? Oh, that's a good question. Pretty much, it's the same. But ability goes with uh, with a verb. Ability is something you learn. Then Norman um, has ability to to repair things. No, okay, he's yeah. not. He doesn't have skill. Any. No, he doesn't have. He doesn't have. <laughs> I think he, he has, but he doesn't care the job. Work. Yeah, he doesn't care. 
Yeah, but you know, if he if doesn't you, care, uh -huh. yeah, he doesn't. He, he doesn't kill the job. Of course, mm -hmm. and you know, the bad part is that in the in the position he works in, he really needs people skills because yeah, <clears throat> it's a presentation. You know, it's like uh, like I think companies in El Salvador that have very good people skills are, for example, Pizza Hut. Uh, Pizza Hut is Wendy's. very good. Mm, Wendy's. Wendy's, China Walk. And ironically, all those companies are the same owner. <laughs> yeah, so they focus a lot in, in, <laughs> in, in people skills. Sometimes it's too much. <laughs> yeah, like, hi, excuse me, can I have a napkin, please? Yes, it's my pleasure to bring you a napkin. <laughs> and they start giving you the, okay, thank you. Just give me the napkin, please, thank you. <laughs> Yeah. So in this case, Norman, he has no people skills. And um, it's a good thing that the boss didn't see him because that would be maybe be Norman's last day. I'm very <laughs> sure. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or, or maybe he's a relative for the owner. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe true. Maybe. Yes, or maybe he's the owner. He's the son. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and the other guy is just the um what what do you think what is what would be a good job for norman a good job where you don't need people skills something with a computer maybe <laughs> yeah working in a computer <laughs> only with without people around <laughs> for a machine Mechanical, technical. Yeah, be a mechanic driver. or something. No. Yeah. Maybe driver. Or IT position. <laughs> okay. So, so the IT. <laughs> I'm working in human resources, so um, it's uh, kind of. <laughs> Oh, yeah. In the pants, <laughs> in the pants teacher, because yeah. I work as a technical support administrative for Telus International, and we need to to have very good people skills to treat the other clients to in the inside of the on the build. So it depends of the section that are you working actually. No, yes, it's true. No, no, yes. I, I think I think what they're I saying is that yes. Yeah. yeah, but you know what what I think the problem is that sometimes sometimes IT maybe not with the client but with the co-workers, sometimes they're not very nice. Sometimes, they are nice, not everybody. But they are sometimes very, very freaky. <laughs> well, the, and the people that I have met that, <laughs> in that line. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so listen, let's, let's continue now. Let's see what's going to happen. So, oops. Or maybe he should be a policeman. No. <laughs> yeah, because to be a policeman, you don't need people skills. Or a criminal. But it makes the difference, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh no. Now what? IT? I need help. It's, a, it's the same. You say that. You'll be patient. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your solution, <laughs> IT. Be <laughs> patient. <laughs> Well, maybe the server is taking a lot of requests for that web page. Yeah, so maybe because be be before down. class, before class, it was working really well. Yeah, and your internet connection is working because we are on the meeting right now. Yeah, yes, I can hear you perfectly and mm -hmm. it doesn't get stuck, so. It's that oh. server. <laughs> it's a bad server, huh? Yes, because I get the same error. Okay, there you go. Come on. 
so we watch the video. Knowledge check. Okay, this is the video we just watched, correct? Okay, mm -hmm. let's watch this one now. So, once again, it says, by the end of this lecture, you will be able to describe the problems with the past participle as adjectives. Remember that the man, he was saying, look at the window, it's broken. No, Look the at the carpet. Stuck. Oh, it's stuck. It's yes. Adjective. Yeah, so in this case, the adjectives were also used as past yeah. participles. Let me see. Let's, let's look at this video now. Hi. On the following video, we will show you how to describe problems. We will do it in two ways, using past participles and using nouns. Stay and learn how. Describing problems one. With past participles as adjectives. The jacket lining is torn. The tabletop is damaged. That vase is chipped. My pants are stained. Her sunglasses are a little scratched. Their new aquarium is leaking. With nouns. It has a tear in it. There's a hole in it. There is some damage on the top. There is a chip in it. They have a stain on them. There are a few scratches on them. It has a leak in it. As we said in our intro video, we will show you two ways to describe problems. The two sets of sentences you're about to see have more or less the same meaning. We may say something is torn or has a tear in it. As you noticed in our first sentence, we use past participle. This time again, acting as adjectives. This is the structure we will use. Subject plus B plus past participle as adjective. My dress is torn. The other way to describe a problem is to use nouns. In this case, we must use subject plus have plus noun, or there is, there are plus noun. In a real sentence, this is how it would look like. My dress has a stain on it, or there is a stain on it. Now you practice. Follow my example. My glasses are broken. Now you try. Look at these following images and choose the past participle of these verbs. Type your examples on our discussion box. Hi. There is some damage on the... Okay, let's do one thing. First of all, let's, let's start with the verb tear. Do you know what tear is? No. Tear. Rasgado. Rasgado. It's Actually, similar to a hole. Okay. Uh, tearing up my heart. Baby. <laughs> okay, tear is this. <laughs> let, let me explain what tear is. Watch. No. Do you see the paper? Yes. Yeah. That is tear. No. no. Yes? What, so, what can you tear? What can, can you tear a cup? No. 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 So paper. You tear paper? Clothes? Clothes. Clothes. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
and you can you can speak in figure, you know, like uh, figurely, like saying, "Oh, you tore my heart in pieces." Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, so, if you ever heard that expression, "She tore my heart," is because of the verb tear. Okay. So, so, for example, the jacket lining is torn, or it has a tear in it. Yes, there's a hole in it. Okay, but a hole is different than tear because a hole is a hole. Have you ever? Can, yes. I have a question. We can use tear about our body. For example, I tear my arm. Well, arm. Yes, yes, but remember the expression tear is this. Uh, so what part of your body can you do this to? Hair. You say my heart. The skin. <laughs> no, cut hair. Cut hair. No. <laughs> do you know when the you skin. can do that? You know when you go to the beach like for three days and your and your your skin oh, is it's, it's like toasted. Turn like the uh -huh. and, when you, skin. <laughs> and then you start to tear your skin. <laughs> Uh, or, or like that, that Robbie, Robbie Williams video, remember? I don't want to rock that DJ. Yeah. He tears <laughs> the muscle. His, mm -hmm. okay. He tears everything. Yeah. yeah, so yes, you can use tear with your with a body part. Okay. Although it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something very negative because <laughs> tear. <laughs> um, okay, so the, do you understand what tear is then? Yes. Ha did you ever had a bad experience maybe in uh, yes. your, maybe in school or in your job? I think I think this happened to everybody once. That maybe your pants? Yes, and their pants. Yeah, may, may, maybe your pants had a tear in it, a, a tear in it. A tear on a, on t-shirts. Oh yeah, okay. Yes. I remember one time um, I did not want to admit I was getting fatter. So I was invited to this wedding and with my wife, we went. And I said, oh yeah, I remember I have my suit, but I had not used the suit maybe in two or three years. So the day of the wedding, I get the suit, and when I put it on, I realize that the suit is very small now, and I am bigger. And I said, uh oh. So it's too late because today's the wedding. So ah, I put the suit on and very tight. And I remember when we were dancing, suddenly <laughs> the pants. It was torn completely from the back. <laughs> so the, the complete the wedding. Back? Yeah, from the back of my pants. Mm -hmm. Or your pants. Yes. I was dancing the twist. You. Can you imagine what happened? <laughs> 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 yeah, so it was my pants. It was torn completely. So then the complete party, I was sitting down all night. <laughs> yeah, but you know, those are accidents. So, but, but the, the objective here is that it was torn. Yes. Okay, next, the next verb we have is damaged. damaged. You know what damaged is, right? Yes, yes. something that is not working properly. Yes. Uh -huh. Something is not working properly, it's damaged. Okay, so for example, you can say, hey, what happened to my laptop? Why? It's damaged. You can't use it. Or in computers, or like, what is something that always gets damaged? Cell phones, TV. Cell phones, TVs, hard drives. Yes. 
Yes. Um, so you say the 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 object in is damaged. Yes. Okay. <laughs> for for example, uh, who lives in Santa Tecla? Uh, what's the question? So who lives in Santa Tecla here? I. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yes or no? Me? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Eighty or ninety percent of the streets in Santa Tecla are damaged. Yes, it's true. It's correct. Yeah. Well, I think they're complete El Salvador. The main Salvador. streets, almost. Yeah, they're all damaged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, I don't know what the problem is because, like for example, by my house, I remember when Naive was mayor, he he did fix all the streets, but they're damaged again in this moment. So I, I don't know what the problem is. Maybe it's the material. Yes. It's probably the material they use it for the construction. Of course, yeah. Okay, uh, so we can use damaged as, as the past participle adjective, or we can say it as a, we can say it as a, as, an, as a noun, yes, some damage. Okay, so for example, imagine um, if you go buy a car, when you buy a used car, you say, hmm, yeah, the car has a lot of damage, or it has some damage, <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, because you know sometimes like you, so, let's say, let's say if you buy a car from two thousand and ten, of course the car is not perfect. So imagine you say, oh okay, look, but the car is good; it's in perfect condition. Yes, it has some normal damage for ten years. Yeah. Or you can say, no, it has a lot of damage. Look at that. That, 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 that. Okay, so those are the expressions you can use. Okay, next we have chipped. Well, it's actually from the verb chip. I think everybody in El Salvador, we have a... First of all, what is this? A cup. A cup. A cup. A cup. Oh. What is that? What? Oh, mug. A mug. Mug. A oh, mug. Yeah, it's actually a mug. Well, yes, you can say a what cup. Is, you can what say is cup. the difference? The mug is bigger. Oh. Yeah. So if if you see this is this is like a coffee mug. And don't say no. Yet. What the, the the verb chip is, do you have a mug in your house that maybe has a little crack? Yeah. Has like a little crack, but just a little one. But you use it anyway? <laughs> do you? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes, because it's useful. So that's called, <laughs> so that is called chipped like say hey that mug is chipped so it's chipped it's chipped what is the pronouns ship uh, uh thank you good question no it's not a you're pronouncing with an s and this is a c like chucho chipped chipped chipped, chipped. yes chipped. Mm -hmm. yeah very good uh, that, that's a good point right there class um there's a big difference between the sh and the ch Yes, you don't say shusho, you say chucho, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So when whenever you see the ch, you have to pronounce the cha 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 part. I would I would recommend you to say cha che chi cho chu. So in this case, cha che chip cho chu. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, that is that expression when, when, when you say it's chipped, como, uh, you know, like there's a big difference if it's broken, if it has a big crack, you know, like, hey, dude, that has a crack, man. Look, it's leaking. But a chip, it's okay. But it's chip different to the, 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 the cup. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, like if, if you go to a restaurant and then they give you a cup and then the cup has like a little chip, you say, uh, excuse me, this cup has a chip in it. I, I can cut my lip. Oh. <laughs> you <know. laughs> but in, in your house, you have like 10 cups with, with chips. But, you know, so you say, look, this cup, it has a chip in it. And then you say, oh, yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I will change it. Okay, so here it says a vase. Do you know what a vase is? It's like a, a glass. Where you put so, your, your flowers. Very good, yes. That's where you put your flowers. All right, good. Next we have stained. Do you know what stained is? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> What is stained? Can you give me an example of how your shirt got stained, Patricia? Stained. Um, when I eat my my uh, my food, I stain my blouse. Okay, good. I stained my blouse. Very good. All right. Um, Imagine I say, Ricardo Romero, what is, what is that red stain I saw on your, in the living room of your floor when I visited you? Remember when I went to your house and then in the living room, there's a big red stain on the floor. What is that? Well, when the, the color is um uh, no no it's a situation I'm, I'm 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 just just follow my story so imagine one day i i visited you okay but then i remember i was sitting in the living room and i saw the floor and there was a big red stain in the floor what happened uh, uh, when, when, when you uh, uh, pour the, the, the coffee and then the, the, the floor. Oh, so that was a coffee stain? It's, if we have a carpet, it's possible. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, good, yes. Okay, good, yeah. Maybe. It's a wine. <laughs> yes. You know, you can... It, a you wine can, stain. Yeah, you know, you can say, yeah, oh, that was a wine stain. Oh, that was one time we sacrificed a cow. <laughs> or, <laughs> you can even the five cow. stars on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> a goat. Uh, a wild party. Well, it sounds like Dimo Burke out the phone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you can say, oh, that, that's oh, when I, I killed kill this man one time. But that, don't worry, it's no problem. It's just blood stain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, good. All right, good. I, I like your imagination class. <laughs> okay, her sunglasses are a little scratched. You know what scratched is, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, um, yes, sir. You can scratch your head. You can scratch your, your body, actually. Yeah. Yeah, but but don't scratch your body in public because that's not good. People will look at you strange. Like, why does he scratch himself? <laughs> Did you ever have the chicken pox? What? Yeah. Remember when you had the chicken pox? When you had a lot of red. Dots when you were a little kid, yeah, and and you want you want to scratch, but and your mother she had to put something on your hands because you can't scratch. Mm -hmm. That's the chicken pox. Do you know what the chicken pox is in Spanish? Chicken pox. Varicela. Varicela. Yes, varicela. Mm -hmm. Literalmente piel de pollo. Chicken pox. Mm -hmm. Uh, new for me. Yeah, it's chicken 
box p o x mm -hmm. p o x x yes i think everybody had chicken pox no yeah yes yeah remember yes. one week of not school that was cool but you can't scratch yourself all right and then next we have leaking The new aquarium is leaking. Can you give me an example with leaking? Who can give me an example? Elena, can you, can you give me an example with leaking? My car has a uh, leaking oil. Okay, in this case, you're using leak as a noun. Mm -hmm. So my car is leaking oil. It's leaking oil. And maybe in the silk, my my sink is leaking. My sink is leaking, okay. Or now let's talk about leak. So imagine, do you have a oil leak in your garage? Yes, I have. Yeah, I think everybody has an, <laughs> because when you say, hey, what is this? Oh man, this is leaking. This is a water leak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you know what? what is bad too? Have you ever gone to a, a place, a house, and you smell gas? It's correct to say mm -hmm. there is a leak, leaking gas or leaking, smell of leaking gas. No, there's a gas leak. A gas leak. Yes, because you say, I smell a gas leak. Do you smell that? No? Okay, then uh, turn on your cigarette. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, so those are actually things that leak. Usually it's um, liquids or... So for example, look, if you have a cup with a chip in it, it's okay, it's not bad. But if you have a cup that leaks, no, that, you know, that cup has to go. Okay. Okay. All right, and this was like this was actually pretty much um how you can use adjectives. You can say them as nouns or as um, adjectives uh, using a past participle. Okay. Listen, today we're going to have a trivia okay we're going to okay. because we only have 10 more minutes so tomorrow we'll do the next activity uh, today we're going to study the origin of words okay the origin of words have you heard of the famous word sandwich you know what a sandwich is right a piece of bread. Yeah. Do you know where sandwich comes from? The word sandwich? And it was a, a condiment or something. I'm sorry, it was a what? Um, like a condiment of sandwich. sandwich. And what happened to him? Uh, he was playing cards with his friends and he, he doesn't want to stand up from the table and say to the uh, to the people to serve the food that he wants something to eat so, uh, something um, what do you say simple and, and, and speed uh -huh. and fast and fast uh -huh. yes it's true yeah good Gio where did you hear that story I don't remember. I I I read I read that. Yeah, I read that. invention. Yeah. Google. <laughs> no, you, you know, you, Wikipedia. You know, actually, a lot of the words come from medieval, medieval, medieval times. Um, yeah, sandwich was a duke. It, that was his name, yeah. sandwich. 
and he was addicted to table games. So one day he invited a lot of people and they were playing and it was time to eat, but he did not want to stop playing. So he actually, he told this cook, hey, make something so we can eat here on the table. So, but sir, what? He says, I don't know, put a ham in between the bread so we can eat with our fingers. And they did that and they thought it was a good idea. So they named it Sandwich. So uh, yeah, so it was interesting. Yeah. You want to know, maybe, maybe you know this, but do you know where the word fuck comes from? No. Excuse me, yes, I know, I know it's a bad word, but really it's not. It's when, when, it's the, not, when it's, the people want to have sex, they have to get the permission of the king. Yeah, you got the right. <laughs> but, 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 but what people though, what people? The, the probably <laughs> the, the no real people. Say, not real people yeah yeah mm -hmm. not real people <laughs> no real family la realeza <laughs> I don't know how to say that word from no, the yeah. kingdom the monarchy the, the, the common, loyal the, loyal the common monarchy. people the, common the monarchy mm -hmm. actually yes maybe you're a little yeah it's true what happened was that um you know that it's um, an acronym yes f-u-c-k yeah. what yeah. happened was that you know in 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 that time there all the kingdoms they were always in war yes mm -hmm. so imagine the woman the woman in history of the world in, in all the history, in the Bible, in war, and everything. And unfortunately, the woman is always low be beneath the man. According to history. And what happened was, imagine a woman, she's married. The woman can't work because she's a woman. The man has to work. But what happens when this woman and her husband, her husband had to go to war and he never returned. He never returned maybe because he's dead, he escaped or maybe he's a prisoner. But the bad thing is that this poor woman, she has no husband and she has children in that time so eventually she had to maybe i don't know five months one year two years later she had to continue with her life but she was married she is married so her husband her husband disappeared but legally and in the church she is married so in this case if she decided to continue with her life with another man, she had to ask permission to the king, explain to the king her problem, and the king, if the king granted the permission, they gave her a, a sign that said F-U-C-K, fuck, which it was uh, fornication under consentment of king. Wow. So, Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if not, I mean, the woman will be treated as a prostitute or, or something. So imagine, yeah, so you, you guys were right. Yeah, they had to ask permission to the king. But in certain, in certain situations, like this one, for women. Okay. And that time was like a, like a tattoo, tattoo on that kiss in the skin. No, or Look, I, I heard signing buddies. I heard that it was like a pass. Ah. I heard it was a pass, so she can put it in her house or yeah, it was I mean mm -hmm. it was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how sad and then this woman continues with her life and her and her husband appears like honey, I'm back. Like, 
Oh, oh. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so th th that's very interesting. That that's where now, now it's a bad word, but really is it was not a bad word. What about you? Do you know any special uh, any special words where they come from? Like uh, Salvadorian, do you know where is the minu minuta come from? Oh, interesting. No, the word minuta. I don't know where the minuta comes from. It's like a, like a joke. <laughs> it says that someone from the U.S. come to the El Salvador and he's sending raspados, frozen, like a frozen. Yeah. And the people who 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 wears a state each from each other, uh, they say, he say, he said, hey, wait for a minute, wait for a minute. So the Salvadoran people think, hey, está vendiendo minutas, minutos. Entonces, he, he was the conf. <laughs> I think that was the, the origin. Hey, For now that our friends say me. No, but you know, it's true. It makes sense. Minute. A minute, minute. Oh, okay. Please wait for a minute, Sebastian. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. You know, I, I was listening to the radio. I actually learned where the expression a huevo comes from. Do you know where that expression comes from? A huevo? I mean, why no. why an egg? Why not a potato? But why an egg? Do you know that? Um, yeah, it's interesting because it said like, when there was a, everything is because of a war. So imagine when there was a war and the soldiers, they had to go to the mountains for one month or two months or three months. Um, they gave the soldiers coupons, government coupons. So that means that maybe the soldiers in the mountains, they can come to the city, go to the store and pay with the government coupons. So then the people from the store with those coupons, I don't know, they go to this office and exchange for real money. But the problem is because there was a war, the stores, they never had anything, only eggs. So that's all they had. So then the soldiers actually started saying, a puro huevo, vamos a comer hoy, a puro huevo, a puro huevo, a huevo, a huevo. <laughs> and, and yeah, and that's how the expression continued, like, yeah, huevo, vamos a comer. <laughs> yeah, so I was I I heard that on the radio and it was interesting. It was, it was very cool. Okay, listen. Um, tomorrow we're going to do an activity. It's it's about listening and comprehension because uh, we're going to talk about habits. Okay, we're going to. Uh, Talk about three things. Um, habits or bad habits? Okay, that's two. And strange habits. Strange. Yes. You know, good habits we have, bad habits we have, and strange habits we have. It's kind of funny because when, when people say, no, I don't have strange habits. Yes, you do. It's a, you just don't know. <laughs> because, you know, like, you know, like, um, I have a strange habit. Uh, do you know those Natura Natura bags from Salsa Naturas? Yeah. I promise you, I like to eat them. Like, I like to open them and eat them. Oh. It's good. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. When I'm making spaghetti, and you know, I put one and I eat one. I put one and I eat one. You know, strange habits. Um, like uh, some people. Who is from San Miguel here? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. In San Miguel, the curtido is made of mayonnaise. And it's yes. very good. It is very good. I love it. Yeah, but when you eat pupusas, they serve you the curtido and it's mayonnaise. And, and the salsa is black. Like black sauce. <laughs> uh -huh. But it's not, it's not like Leah Breddings. It's this black, it's like black ketchup. Yes, but it was very good. I like. I love it, but it looks strange. Maybe the first time strange, but like second, third, and it's, it's interesting. 
El Chuco in San Miguel is pink and sweet. It is sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. You know, so, so you can say, oh yeah, I have a strange habit. I, I do this, I do that. So, but the objective here is um, your listening part because when Elena tells the class her good habit, I'm going to ask Gloria. Okay, Gloria, do you remember? Can you tell me about Elena's good habit? And this is what I want you to practice. Yes, Elena said that her good habit was this, that, and you know, she likes to read a lot of books. Okay, good. Uh, Gio, do you remember what Carla Molina's strange habit is? Yes, um, Carla Molina's strange habit is that she likes to eat tamales with ketchup. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just inventing here, okay? So don't say, no, I don't, okay? So that, that's what we're going to practice. And then we're going to, of, of course, we're going to talk about bad habits and good habits. Okay? Okay. 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 Man, okay. one hour is not enough. <laughs> it passed. Like, for, for example, I'm interested about uh, Ingrid's good habits tomorrow. She's going to tell us a little bit about yoga. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, class. Um, have a good night. 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 Good night.